my dudes, welcome back for another newly review lead. This is for the month of, we'll call it December. Oh yes, new hair, first time I'm filming on the vlog channel with this cut and color. It's been fading, obviously, every time I wash it, but it's kind of nice to like figure out which shade I like the most. I still don't know, we'll see. Anyway, Newly is a clothing rental service. I pick six items, you keep it for a month, it's $88. This is not sponsored, but if you are interested, I have an affiliate link in the description. Let's do it. This month I got a couple of warm items. <laughs> it's December, it is. And this throws me back to a coat I got in one of my very first newlies a few years ago, pre, pre-pandemic, so that must have been late 2019. Look at this, wowie wow. I bought some new clogs recently. These literally have not been worn outside of the house, hence why I'm wearing them <laughs> indoors. But let's look at what this jacket is, this coat. This is the fuzzy plaid overcoat from Bernardo, size small, retails for $199, newly priced $81.59, oh no. It's kind of a good price. Oh no, here's the thing. I do not have a plaid coat like this. I do have a longer like green coat that's a little similar, but guess what? I haven't worn it that many times in the years that I've had it. So what do I do? But also, I don't know if I need another coat. <laughs> Struggle. But $82 for a coat that I wore many times this month would be a pretty good deal. Okay, I'll tell you what I've been up to. But actually, it's so hot, I don't know if I can keep this on the whole time. It's warm in this room. This outfit would be great for a cold day. In the month that I've had this newly, I went on a trip to Mexico City. First time in Mexico City, it was amazing. I went with Catherine, you may know Catherine out, Sheridan, my friend and co-writer, Amanda, who's a YouTuber you may know as well, and then a couple of new friends. I didn't really know what to expect for weather in Mexico City in this time of year. So yeah, this time I chose a couple of jackets. I wanted to have some choices, and actually I'm just realizing, did my dumbass not bring any of these jackets? No, I don't think I did. Well, then I flopped, okay? Because this would have been great. I also just took a last minute trip to the UK to visit Nathan's family. I hadn't been back in about a year and we always try to figure out when we can go or if we can make it uh, around the holidays and we were able to squeeze in a trip, which was wonderful. And it was so cold the week we were there. And luckily I brought this coat and it was lovely. And every time I wore it, I was like, wow, do I need this in my life permanently? I just, I will say, for me, there is something to be said about a long coat. That's all. I just want validation. I'm like, do you like it? Should I buy it? Oh no, I have to make that decision like right now. Oh God. I always wait till the last day to film my newly reviews and then I have to hurry to drop it off at the UPS store. Do I need this coat? Tell me no, but do I love it? Yes. Should I get it? If I don't get it, people will be telling me in the comments weeks later when I actually post this, oh, you should have got it, and I'll say too freaking late, though I could always rent it again. Um, anyway, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I mean, again, it's got some pockets. It's got a comfy lining. Um, I will say like the wool, I don't even know if this is actual wool. No, it says the materials are polyester, acrylic, rayon, and cotton. Okay. I don't love the material. Let's look at it up close. As you can see up close, it's a little fuzzy. It's not horrible, but I do just love the color. Should I keep it? Oh God, $82, I don't need that. Is my life gonna be any different without it? Maybe. <laughs> I think this is one that maybe I should think about, but okay, my philosophy lately, I actually just bought a lot of things this morning. I've been Christmas shopping for myself and others, okay, but a lot for myself. Um, Cause as the conversation goes around about wish lists and what people want, uh, I'm thinking, what do I want? to buy for myself. <laughs> and there have been many things added to my list. But my, my typical shopping philosophy is like, I like to put something on my list and think about it for a long time before I buy it. Actually, the these shoes, and I bought another pair of like actual clogs, they have been on my list for like two years. And I did so much shopping and thinking about it. And then finally, I said, let's get you those. And I'm happy I waited. But I kind of feel that way about this coat where I'm like, I love it while I have it. I think this piece would be very functional or something similar. Would be great, very useful, 
great in a wardrobe. It's like the sort of style I'm looking for these days. But does it have to be this particular coat right now? I feel like I need more time to process. Continuing on, since I have a lot of coats, I'm just gonna put them over the same outfit, sorry. Let's go to another fave. Okay, now this one. This one I believe I picked before I dyed my hair. And at one point my hair was more vibrant than it is now. I mean, it still matches, but I love it. I mean, hello. And again, with the mules, the clogs, whatever you wanna call these, I don't know. All together, I'm feeling I'm feeling the browns. I don't usually wear a lot of brown, but looking around my office, like my desks are this sort of nice, light, almost cherry wood color. So this is the Cinnamon Stick Shirt Jacket from Blank NYC, size small, retails for 118, newly priced 77.88. Was I just doing the influencer voice? I saw a TikTok about it, the like YouTuber voice where they're like, and now we're walking into my office and you see the desk and my chair and the jacket is brown. Um, and also my friend Megan, Megan Collins, recommend following her on TikTok, always incredible, insightful takes. Megan stitched it and said, there's an explanation behind women speaking like this very often online. And a lot of times that comes down to trying to avoid using the word um. You see, we have this problem in our world where we police literally everything that women do as a way to maintain power and control over half of the population. And so it's really important to create a lot of insecurity and inferiority in those, um, that half of the population and to do this we just like constantly criticize everything that they do so for a while we criticized the fact that they were speaking up more and we didn't like that so we criticized how they spoke specifically the use of the word um and the word um is actually used by women to avoid being interrupted you know we're made fun of for our vocal fry or saying like too much or saying um too much uh, which I can definitely, uh, I can definitely relate to. And I actually have a group chat with Sheridan and Catherine where we talk about YouTube and internet things. Just a great one-stop one shop for us to all give our, uh, our takes on everything. But after I shared that TikTok, Catherine was like, wait, do I vlog like that? Do we all do that? So I've been analyzing myself. I think I usually don't speak in that sort of classic YouTuber cadence, but even if I did, it would be fine. <laughs> So whatever. So this thing, obviously the little fuzzy teddy kind of coats have been popular for a couple years. If anything, they might be going a little out of style now. I don't know what's in style and who cares? Cause this is comfy. But as usual, I tend to be a little bit behind on trends because I have an individuality complex and I like to be like, I'm different. I'm not gonna follow the trends. So I won't even let myself try the trends quite often. And that's a fatal flaw. Then suddenly way far down the line, when something is safely out of popular trend zone, I'm like, let me just low key try that jacket. And then I do and I'm like, oh, this, this is the best. I flopped. So similarly, I don't own anything like this. And when I rented it, at first I thought, oh, it's gonna be a little too big. Like I don't really wear big baggy jackets these days, but maybe I should, cause this shit is comfy. I wore this on a long flight and I got to use it as a blanket, as a pillow. Um, and then obviously, you know, I think it looks cute with the hair color currently. I'm just digging for compliments in this video. I'm like, do you have anything to say <laughs> about me? I don't know. I don't know, you tell me. Oh, what, these? Oh, they're new. Oh, they've been on my wish list for years and I finally bought them and now I feel like everything's complete. So I'm now I'm scared because this jacket is also reasonably affordable for a jacket. I don't know, well, $78. But do I need it in my wardrobe? Now I'm like convincing myself. I'm like, yeah, but if you do a closet clean out and you sell some stuff on Depop, then like, yeah, you can buy a couple of new pieces that will be more loved and be more worn than, thing, than the things that are just hanging in your closet taking up space. And to that I say touche. But again, I can't, I can't make this decision. I can't do it today. Am I gonna miss that when it's gone? Probably. This is a much more emotional and sentimental newly revealy than I ever thought. Good news, everyone. In case you saw my last video and my ThreadUp ads from my main channel, I was able to find this on ThreadUp. This is not an ad, but I was able to find it on ThreadUp for $23. Um, but yeah, I, I do regret, because I brought both of those to England and I didn't bring them at all to Mexico City and they would have been very cute for Mexico City and they would have been nice. I absolutely flopped 
when packing for Mexico City. Sorry, I was reflecting on how soft those little claps were. I absolutely flopped. I packed the night before because I had a work deadline, so I waited till the very last minute and I was up almost crying because I was so tired and then I knew I had to wake up early. And I packed like the worst combination of things. I'm not good about planning outfits ever, but especially for a whole trip. I'm like, you want me to decide in advance somehow exactly what I'm gonna wanna wear? I have no idea what I'm gonna wanna wear until I put the things on my body and then I realize, ew, this texture is bothering me today or this turtleneck's choking me. A lot of sensory things lately. Or the weather changes throughout the day so then I have to wear multiple outfits and then it throws off the whole spreadsheet. <laughs> Speaking of spreadsheets, Sheridan did share her spreadsheet she made for her outfits. And I said, that's great. I'm not gonna be doing that, but I am proud of you. And guess what? She had way better outfits the entire trip, of course, because she planned. This Newly Review Lee is sponsored by Friendship and brought to you by Miss Catherine Out. <laughs> I love calling Catherine her YouTube name. Anyway, okay, but I will tell you, <sighs> one second. You can't even see the full outfit because I can't put my camera far enough back, so I'm just gonna walk exaggeratingly. But the combination of a turtleneck tucked in, these pants, wide leg, relaxed, whatever, and these shoes, I feel very good. <laughs> That's all I'll say. One more jacket. Why not? This one. This one, I will say, I didn't get the chance to give it as much love and attention as it deserves. This one. Let, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm literally just trying to watch myself in the viewfinder to see what I think, because I, I think I only wore it like once. I wore it to trivia. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. Every time I think I'm gonna be normal in the newly, I am not. This is the energy I have when I'm finally on the phone or like a FaceTime with a friend, and I realize I have to vent like everything I've thought in the past month in one sentence. So it's just tangent city. I just remembered I wore this to trivia, and I don't know if I've told you guys, but I've become a trivia regular. Nathan and I, plus some of our friends, and even one of my friend's parents, we are a trivia team, and we just got our 10 week streak. <laughs> Thank you. Is it the highlight of my week? Literally, actually, yes. I absolutely fucking love trivia. It is the most exciting thing. And then no matter what happens after trivia, I feel like I'm on a little high. I'm like, you know, how can we do better? What did we do really well? What can we improve on? What should I study for next week? You can't really study for trivia, but there are ways. There are things that you can do to prepare. So I wore this to trivia once, that's all I'm saying. But big news, I'll keep putting the phone away. Last night, we not only had our 10 week streak, which was a special day, but guess what? We got our best score yet. We got second place out of 40 plus teams. And previously our record has been fourth place. So I, we're pretty good. We're pretty freaking good, but we're hard on ourselves. And so when we found out that we got second place, as they were calling off the teams, we're like, oh shit, oh shit, are we gonna make it to top three? We would have been stoked if we were three, cause that would have been our first time in the top three. But then we got second and then we were devastated that we didn't get first. So we'll get it sometime. We lost by one point. One point. And did we beat ourselves up about it? Yes. <laughs> is that the fun and the magic of trivia? Yes. That's what that jacket means to me. This is the Billy Houndstooth jacket by Grey Lynn, size medium. Retails for $173, newly priced $108.99. $108. I do like this pattern. Houndstooth. Houndstooth. That's how Nathan's mom says tooth. She says tooth. It's very hard for me to say. I'm not very good at my th. It almost is a little bit Cruella de Vil, just I guess black and white. Black and white jacket equals Cruella, obviously. But yeah, I like the shape of it. It's a little boxy, it's a little cropped, but it's good. Though I will say nothing to write home about. <laughs> I'm not sending any postcards about this houndstooth jacket. Okay, let's get into something a little ugly for a second. That reveal was fun, you know? At first you're like, oh, cute sweater, and then, hmm, is it? What the hell? Why did I pick this? Again, this time I was thinking, what's practical? What's gonna be good during cold weather? What's easy to mix with things? So I picked this sweater, which is the Textured Floral Sweater by Anthropology, Size medium, retails for 180. Newly priced, $72. They got a steep discount on that one. Um, textured floral sweater. Let me look at these pictures. I guess I didn't really notice the shape of the sweater. First of all, the feeling of the material, eh. That was my problem at first when I started to try on this newly. I was like, oh no, because I forget that I'm picky about sweaters and how they feel. 
and this one, not the best. You know why? It's acrylic, and I always dislike acrylic, especially when it's straight on my body without like a tank top or something underneath. But anyway, the, the worst part for me is the sleeves. So obviously they're tight up to like mid forearm, and then they're like a balloon sleeve. And then, <laughs> just disappointed in myself. And then the length is interesting. I feel like I could tuck it if I wanted to. I can't tell if that makes it any better. But um, yeah, no, it's the sleeves that are the worst for me. I don't know, now that I'm putting it on, I'm like, that's kind of fun. But also, it's very bulky. It gives like a lot of material all around the whole torso. And then the skinny little end of the arm, uh, just the fuzziness of the acrylic. Blech. It's not for me. It's not for me. Unfortunately, I hate a wasted newly item. More soft claps. Does anyone clap at full volume? I mean, like, just the video editor in me is like, mm, that's gonna be too loud. So, lost my train of thought. Oh, I don't like to waste newly items, obviously. But I, if this sweater was different in a lot of ways, it could have been different. You know what I'm saying? Then we have another sweater, which I like a lot more though. Still not, not perfect, but we'll see. Okay, look at it. We've got, see we've got some cute little bell sleeves here. Not too dramatic. Um, a nice cream sweater with some horizontal stripes. It's cute, it's cozy. I wore it a few times and yeah, it was nice. Okay, okay. My struggle these days is I, I'm sick of crop tops. I don't want any of my midriff showing, especially because usually like the top of my pants tend to be tight. That's usually how it shakes out. So like the last thing I want is for that skinny little strip of belly to be showing because I'm just, it doesn't make me that comfy. I'd rather have a slightly longer shirt, but I also still feel weird about long shirts. To me, this is a long shirt. If you can hear Clark's little squeaky toy, that's just a dog having fun. Oh. Just tipping over, sorry. You don't have to apologize. My favorite way to wear this was just a casual night with, with some flared leggings, some yoga pants, and this. Like this is just a cozy little couch outfit. Um, in terms of an outfit outfit, I don't think it's terrible. And again, with a jacket or something would be totally fine, whatever. But yeah, I feel conflicted about wearing long shirts because I think I have short legs. So my recipe for much of my life has been high-waisted pants to try to make my legs look a little longer, and then you need a shorter top so that my torso doesn't look freakishly long in proportion to my body. This always just makes me think of um, when I was in middle school and low-rise jeans were obviously very popular. So I wore low-rise jeans, little boot-cut jeans, and <laughs> the longest shirts. <laughs> And I just laugh because like my little legs just look so short. Here's a picture. The parrot one at Laguna Beach. Short legs, flip flops, flip flops and jeans. That's a choice. Though I'm not gonna lie, these days I will sometimes walk out jeans and my Birkenstocks. I don't care. But um, yeah, there's something about the long torso short leg thing that like brings me back to my middle school self. So that's that's probably what I'm always trying to stay away from. Anyway, yeah, it's not bad. It's just not, there's not a lot of shape to it. But again, there doesn't have to be shape to everything. Uh, I'm glad I got a few wears out of this, but it's, it's, did I even say what it is? No, I didn't. <laughs> Shit. This is the Austell, Austell Jumper from Fourth and Reckless, size small, retails for 68. Newly priced is 59.84. The Austell Jumper. The Austell Jumper. It is a jumper. It is indeed. And you may be wondering, when I go to the UK and when I'm hanging out with Nathan's family, do I adopt a bit of a British accent? A bit of a, a bit of a Southern English, not even Southern English. I don't even know what fucking accent I'm trying to do. Do I adopt a little bit of a dialect and a little bit of the inflection? Yes, I do. Can I stop myself? No. But I think that's the fun part about language is whatever our brains do to try to, I don't know if it is to immerse yourself, to try to make yourself feel more comfortable and safe with the people who are surrounding you. Like I assume it's an in-group thing that we feel obligated to mimic the people we're around. Uh, sociologists in the chat, let me know. <laughs> Obviously I feel safe and comfortable around Nathan's family, but I mean in like a, an evolutionary sense, right? <laughs> 
I can't even, I wish I had it on camera. Like, obviously I'm not talking like this. That would be fucking absurd. That would be bloody disrespectful. Sorry, um, sorry. <laughs> but it's more like I talk in a different tone and I pick up a few different words. Next time I do it, I need to like make a note of it or record it. But I just find myself speaking a little bit differently and it's interesting. Sometimes Nathan points it out to me. He's like, you're talking differently. And I'm like, what? <laughs> me? <laughs> no. That's Australian. Never mind. Bye. And for the last item, we've got the black turtleneck back on, but that's not the point. It's these pants, baby. Why am I smiling like this? Literally like a QVC model. You really can't get the full... I'm not in the full frame. Oh well. These lovely fun pants are the Farmer's Market Robin Jeans by New Lisa Ska. Size 32, retails for $190, newly priced $93.10. Newly says Ga, so collaboration between Lisa says Ga and Newly. Um, I do love Lulu. 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 I love Lisa says Ga stuff, though I've only ever rented a few things from Newly. When I saw these, I just couldn't resist. I love green, and I know pants are always risky on Newly, but um, the sizing, I will say, I was scared <laughs> reading the reviews. Everyone was like, these pants run so small. You've got to size up, like who knows how many sizes. You could size up two sizes. You could size up five sizes. Who knows if they'll fit? So of course <laughs> I was like, we'll try, whatever. <laughs> I was just like, mm, okay, I know I don't want them to be tight. Hopefully I somehow guess to be in the range of like, even if they're a little loose, at least then they'll be comfy and wearable. So I did actually bring these to Mexico City. Sorry, I did the YouTuber voice thing again. Oh no, is that gonna haunt me forever? So I did actually wear these to Mexico City. I was like, what the fuck? Do I, okay, but do I talk like this in real life? Or would I just say I wore these in Mexico City? I did actually wear these in Mexico City. I feel like I'd say that. I did actually. I, I did actually wear these in Mexico City. I'm just gonna pretend you're, you're my friend that I am telling about these this specific pair of pants. But I was excited when I tried them on, they fit, they're a little roomy in the waist, depending on the part of day. If I wear these at the end of the day, they're nice, they're snug. If I put them on first thing, they've got some room. Perfect, room to grow, room to eat throughout the day, have a wonderful time. And of course, oh, I didn't even get to tell you about the Mexico City food. I had actually, I only went to Mexico for the first time earlier this year, which is surprising as someone who's grown up in Southern California. I never did one of those I'm 18 going down to Mexico trips. Uh, just missed out on that. But the first place that I went in Mexico was just like a smaller beach town and trying to, find vegan food there was a little bit of a struggle. I always know that, you know. I go into everything expecting, if I can just eat like rice and beans, then I'm fine, I'll survive a weekend. But in planning to go to Mexico City, I was doing some research and there are at least a couple neighborhoods that are like specifically great about having vegan options, including Roma Norte, which is a beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. We really enjoyed going there. There's so many great thrift stores and clothing markets out on the street by the fountain. But yeah, I definitely found a lot of great vegan options and I was very excited about that. We specifically went to a place called Plantasia twice, <laughs> twice. I will miss it forever. It was so good. Incredible vegan sushi, incredible vegan little dumplings or gyozas and um, cream cheese wontons. If only I could have access to those every day. Just daydreaming about the food. It was so good. If you ever find yourself in Roma Norte in Mexico City, my God, go to Plantasia. Also beautiful inside the restaurant, incredible decor, also beautiful outdoor seating. Stun in. So anyway, these pants. Um, I actually wore pretty much this exact outfit one of the days. I borrowed a sweater like this from Sheridan and she inspired me to buy this belt. You probably can't see it, zoom in a little bit. I haven't really had a good belt ever in my adult life. I think I've only ever received belts as you do when they just somehow end up in your possession. So in recent years, I've been like, you know, it'd be nice to have a good belt, but I just never bought one. I never knew, I don't know. And then Sheridan presented this magical belt to me and she said, you gotta get it. She sent me the link. I was like, um, can it be an affiliate link? Because you are deserving. You are inspiring me to get this purchase. And yeah, it's a good belt. So I don't know, what else can you say? The pants, um, the front is a little bunchy and roomy. 
but I honestly don't mind that. I feel like with this style of pant, like that's that's part of the deal. Um, though I will say, I feel like they look pretty good on my butt. I don't know now, actually, I might have stretched them out a little bit from wearing them so many times, but also, who cares? So there it is, that's my newly review for this month. For the next month, who knows? January, Janvier, what's it gonna be? A little cold, another little sweater and jacket roundup? Probably. Um, but yeah, this one was fun. I think, uh, I do like this season. I like adding new jackets to my wardrobe temporarily because it just, it really does add a little layer of something. And these pants were fun, but I don't think they need to be a permanent part of my wardrobe, though I do appreciate them. Much to think about. Okay, that is all. Have a fantastic day. Okay, thanks, bye.